for today it is monday it's let me i've lost all track of days today um okay it's the 11th of may and i'm 20 dpo today and what i'll do is i've showed you i've done progression line pictures which i'm going to put in at the end um i'm still reading one to two weeks on a digital so i'm hoping that will go up but when i did the first digital it must have meant that i was probably just on a week maybe just over a week pregnant so it probably read a week and one a week and two days so yeah i'm quite happy with that so i'm not going to test now till wednesday because i've only got one digital left i bought another one yesterday but they're 8.99 each or two for 11.99 they had no oh i'm really out of breath no double packs left so i'm gonna have to be a bit scroogey and just do it wednesday but i've got loads of pound shop cheapies which i'm doing they're getting gradual but i really think i implanted late because I think they would have shown up a little bit earlier. If you remember when I had my miscarriage, go back to November, December 2018 when I wrote it all down. I had a very, very faint positive 10 DPO on a cheapie. So I think they show up when you're at least a few days past implantation. And I barely got a squinter on day 14 DPO, which would have been the day of my period. 15 DPO, again, very, 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 very faint line. When I was successfully pregnant in 2016, I showed on a cheapy stick 13 DPO and it was very, very faint and squinty, but it was a candy pink line. So again, I think I probably implanted a little bit earlier. With that said and done, I feel pregnant. I'm happy at the moment. You know, my nipples are getting sore by the day. I'm definitely starting to smell things a little bit more potent than I normally would. For instance, my thing when I'm pregnant is I can't stand freshly washed laundry. So when I'm putting on a wash, I cannot stand softeners. That hasn't happened yet. That normally gets to about six weeks, seven weeks, and it's been with every single pregnancy. So that will be the telltale sign when I hit six weeks, that's when I start to get really, really quite sick. And that's been with every single pregnancy I've had, even the one I've miscarried. Um, not the last one, but the one way back in 2011. So that's a good telltale sign. But at the moment, I tried a cup of coffee this morning, smelt great. When I tasted it, it didn't taste quite right. And I thought, well, that's a good sign. Not a good sign because I love my decaf coffee, but yeah, it didn't taste quite nice. And my husband had a few beers at the weekend and I was like, oh, it really smells on your breath. He said, I only had three in the garden. I'm like, ooh. So I think that's good. So all pointing in the right direction, unless those lines get severely faint or I start thinking my nipples aren't sore anymore or then I'll get worried. CM is coming in abundance so 20 dpo today 13th um the 11th of may and i'm still getting very severe dreams but rather than start from today i'll do little bits by bits because my kids are around two are in the garden two have just gone for their regular walk and i don't want to i haven't told my children yet i'm going to wait until i feel a bit more pregnant and i'm a bit more at ease with it all so we'll start back <laughs> 5 DPO, I think that's a good one. I first let you know that I baby danced day 10, day 12, day 14 and day 15. I had a positive OPK on a cheapie at 15, uh, 15 of my cycle. We did it on that day and I did feel that was enough to be honest because I did feel ovulation pains that day later on in the day so I was quite happy with that. Normally it's best when you get that positive to do it that day and the day after. So that was my baby dancing out the way. We used the Fertile Check Gel on day eight when we baby danced, which wasn't really counting, that was just for fun. But like I said, my husband didn't really want to use that anymore. So whether that seed was still there when I released my egg, I have no idea, but we did use Fertile Check the last cycle, which is a gel that you put in 15 minutes beforehand. I don't think it really helped us feel comfortable, but it might help like a pre-seed or something if you've had trouble to conceive. What I did differently this time was I had a little drink of cheeky Prosecco in my two week wait, which is very naughty, but I just felt it was a sunny evening. I only had one glass. I just wanted to relax a bit more. I've been a lot more relaxed. And when Aaron didn't want to do it on day nine, I was like, yeah, that's fine. And I tried it on with him on day 13, didn't want to know. And I was just a little bit more laid back this cycle. That's what was different. Um, so we go from one DPO. My OPK definitely got lighter by 2 p.m. and CPM was uh, CM was lighter. 2 DPO, OPK was light, it was hardly there. That's my ovulation test. 3 DPO, CM was medium flow. I needed a panty liner. The OPK, again, was very, very faint, but still there. 
for DPO felt niggles, more right hand side and a bit crampy on a pain scale 5 out of 10, CM huge amounts, OPK completely blank. 5 DPM which was day 20 of my cycle, really wet, the CM was so bad I had to use 4 panty liners, niggles on right side, really really bad. 6 DPO, it was day 21 of my cycle, CM was lots and yellowy and I had a really sore down below region, not thrushy or anything like that, just a bit sore that I needed some cream. I don't know whether I used a shower gel that didn't agree with me. So I'll get back to you one minute, my doorbell's going. Sorry about that. Okay, so 6 DPO, yeah, I think I must have had an allergy to some shower gel or something because I really felt uncomfortable, so I had to put a bit of cream on. Don't know whether that was anything to do with anything, not sure, but I knew it wasn't thrush or anything like that. It wasn't like any foul smelling, it was just severely itchy for about 24 hours. 7 DPO was 22 day of my cycle, CM lots, again, three to four panty liners. I was feeling tired now and really achy. I had ligament ache. Now, my leg aches a little bit now and then from that operation I had, but it was really achy and I was really hot at night that I had to take my pyjamas off and open the window and my dreams were awful. I dreamt Aaron had cheated on me. Day 8 DPA, which is 25 of my... No, 8 DPA, 23 in my cycle. Stretchy feelings going on in my tummy. Felt a little bit icky in the morning, didn't really want to peppermint tea which is unusual for me and again I had another horrible dream so two dreams in a row and it was that he cheated on me again and I fell out with my friend Jo which was really upsetting because she's a really good friend and it was so realistic that's a sign of progesterone's re progesterone's really high I know that so vivid dreams people do have quite a lot so that was 8 DPO day 24 of my cycle which is 9 DPO sore nipples now not jumping through the roof just a little bit niggly on the ends and I felt a bit bloated. Um, I felt dizzy every time I bent down and I was really heady and I wasn't sure whether it's hay fever because the weather's been quite warm or whether it was just a symptom. So I wrote it down and CM again, medium flow, two to three panty liners. So the dreams I'm having are still vivid. 1st of May, which was 10 DPO for me, day 25 of my cycle. I had a negative cheapie. I did take one secretly, I think I told you that. CM lots, headachey, bloated, and I started my vlog for you guys. Um, my, my kids have been really busy schooling and doing bits and pieces, so I was really feeling tired. And then 11 DPO, I've written basically the same, bit heady, CM lots, feeling bloated. That was day 26 of my cycle. Day 27 of my cycle, 12 DPO, again, bit heady, feeling bloated, CM, nothing really to report apart from those dreams. 13 DPO, which is day 28 of my cycle, getting nearer to being able to test. I says, didn't test, but the symptoms are really good. I'm hoping and praying. I've got leg ache, excess saliva, positive OPK test yesterday, CM lots of creamy and yellow, Feeling nauseous in the morning, tired, stretchy, bloated, really spotty back and starting to get forgetful. Vivid dreams, oh my God, too many. Emotional at TV adverts. Yeah, there was like an advert for charities and things and normally I can watch those and sort of look at them and think, oh, that's really bad. But I was properly upset and watching uh, TV soap. I was really upset, it was about domestic violence and normally I get quite into my soaps but this was really bad and I was crying. 14 DPO, which was day 29 of my cycle. Oh my gosh, I vlogged to you guys. I got the faintest, faintest BFP, but it wasn't clarification enough for me. So that's where I stop with my symptoms. I'll get back to you later because my kids are just coming in from the garden and they're hungry. So I'm going to do lunch and I'll be back. Hi guys, a little later than I intended, but my tag on from what I was just saying about my two week weight symptoms and all my DPO symptoms right up to 14 DPO. Um, just to say that, yeah, all the symptoms have been coming thick and fast, which I'm really pleased about. Sorry about the scrappiness of my vlogs. And if I don't vlog too much, I am sorry. But at the moment, things are quite hard with the children around all the time. They're either in the garden or in the house. And I don't want them seeing me do this. I like to spend a bit of time with them and I want to tell them when I feel comfortable. And at the moment, the symptoms are good. 
but I don't want to run before I can walk. At the moment, I'm only getting one to two weeks on that digital pregnancy test. I'm really hoping that that will be two to three weeks by at least Thursday. And I've got one more test here, digital, so I won't be shopping till Saturday. I've got loads of pound shop runs. So after this vlog, what you'll see is um, my pregnancy test from yesterday, which was 19 DPO, which will show you some pound shot runs that got a little bit stronger. And I've got my one to two week pregnancy test digital again. And then it'll be today's tests, which will show you quite a, again, the same sort of line on a pound shot one. They're different brands, so it does show a little bit lighter, but I'm not too worried about that because they're a different brand. And I did the one to two week again, <laughs> digital. Now what I've done at the end, I know you're not meant to do this and I don't recommend it, but I've broken open the digitals just to see if there was a little difference in the darkness of lines. And I do think the one I did today was very, very, very slightly darker. So that gives me good hope. But even if they're the same, they are only a rough guide. I think as long as I'm getting the symptoms in my body and I feel pregnant, I think a woman, woman's intuition and being in tune with the body is everything. So I think as long as I've got those symptoms still, which I have, like super thirsty, super tired, my sore nipples, I'm forgetful. There's lots I can tell you guys that I feel pregnant, so I'm happy at the moment. So yeah, I'm gonna leave that digital that I've got in my drawer till I think Wednesday or Thursday. Today's Monday night, I'm just about to go to bed. It's nine o'clock, it's really early, but I'm gonna have an early night. I normally get in bed about nine, drift off about 10. I'm always quite an early bedtime person because we get up so early with the kids. Um, and I will get back to you um, with a vlog. Thank you for your kindness, support, baby dust and comments. It means the absolute world. And there's been a lot of people subscribing, which is amazing. Because if you're TTCing and you've got questions and I can't answer them, other people will read comments and you make friends. And I've made loads of friends by being on other people's TTC channels and going through the comments and maybe they've had a question that I can answer or something like that. I might do also a video on supporting people who worry about BFPs because look how late this is. My BFP really was so late. I tested the day of my period was due. It was pretty much a negative. Next day, very, very faint, so late BFPs happen, so keep the faith. If you've not come on your period and you're still getting a negative test, as long as the lady in red doesn't show, keep testing. If you've got any questions for me, please, please, please comment down below. I'll try and answer them. But yeah, I hope you've enjoyed my two-week wait symptoms, and if there's any other things I think of, I will definitely get back to you. So at the end of this vlog, you'll just see my tests from yesterday, which show a bit progression, which was 19 DPO. And then you'll see 20 DPO being today. And I will do another vlog for you at the end of the week. And I intend to do um, a vlog week by week, how I'm feeling, which I think you'll love, pregnancy updates. And also at the end, I'm gonna, I've loaded up the pregnancy app, which is totally free to show me different stages of my trimesters which I think would be really exciting and at the moment I'm classed as four weeks and a bit pregnant and it it's a really really weird picture it's not what you expect to be honest and that's what's going on inside me hopefully now so I'll put that on at the end of the pregnancy tests and that app is totally free in your app store so yeah have a really really lovely rest of the week and I'll get back to you soon please like and subscribe Thank you, bye.